Around 75% of lives lost in all earthquakes are due to the collapse of inadequately designed buildings. In order to design earthquake resilient buildings, let's examine the cause and effects of earthquakes. Tectonic plates are part of Earth's crust, constantly moving due to convection currents in Earth's mantle. When two plates rub against each other, pressure builds up due to friction. However, when the strained crust eventually overcomes the friction, an earthquake is triggered, sending out compressive waves with push-pull effects and shearing waves with sideway displacing effects. These seismic waves are vibrations related to earthquakes and are of varying frequencies. Taller buildings experience more impacts from low frequency waves. Waves of different frequencies affect buildings. If a shock wave matches the natural frequency of a building, the building undergoes the largest oscillations possible and suffers the greatest damage. To diminish the destructive energy induced by earthquakes, civil engineers use different types of technologies. Base isolation dampers are reinforced rubber slabs that sway left and right to isolate the building from shock waves. A viscous damper absorbs and dissipates the energy of shock waves that penetrate the building. Like a pendulum, a tuned damper reduces vibrations by counteracting the extraneous vibrations with its mass. Seismic invisibility cloak is a set of plastic rings buried beneath ground that steers the incoming seismic waves around the building foundations. These four are some of the methods that safeguard lives. In 2010, 316,000 people were killed by an earthquake in Haiti. However, a quake of similar magnitude in USA killed just one person. Why? Because of earthquake-resilient buildings.